Right, can you guys hear me now? I can see some sound levels, so I'm assuming yes. My um, my computer <laughs> decided uh, my mic didn't exist as a thing. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I just needed to restart the computer. I don't know what was happening. It was just like telling me that my microphone didn't exist. So it's fine. It does exist, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, so just loading in and we're going to get started on the nanny challenge. I'm very excited. I've been reading through the rules a little bit. I don't try not to overwhelm myself with all the things. Like I don't know how I'm going to keep track of all the points, but we'll see how it all goes. I don't know how I'm like, I've done one points challenge before, which was um, the, oh, what was that? Oh, come on. Oh, 13 ghost challenge but i never i kept track of the points so yeah 13 ghosts so we'll see <laughs> we'll see how we go all right well hello hello everyone and welcome today we are going to be playing the nanny challenge uh, this was created by the obsessed simmer my very good friend and yeah so it is going to be exciting it's a whole new challenge and today we are in cast and we are going to be making some characters come to life for our challenge so we must play with an eight sim household so the nanny will be our only sim that we are able to control uh, the parents are two successful career driven sims and you may use cheats to promote them to at least level five in their careers but no cheats after that actually i don't know the cheat to how to promote them unless you i cheats i can just do it through that uh, we need a dog a teen a child and twin infants okay Let's make it happen. So our nanny is going to be a lady, lady nanny. I think we're going to have a lady nanny. And I know what her name is going to be. It's going to be Leah. And it's going to be Leah Smarty Pants. But she she uh, actually uses the French pronunciation. It's Leah Smarty Pants. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Smarty Pants. <laughs> Leah Smarty Pants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Leah Smarty Pants. So I'm just gonna like get the uh set up the family and then we'll get them all created. So uh what do we need? Two parents. Hey, Shuli Prasig. Oh, you're a sexy dude. Okay. Uh and another sim here. Oh, thank all the So two successful career driven sims. I'm just gonna do a, a hetero couple. Uh, we're going to do a dog. Woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof. And we're going to have a teen. Woof, woof. Antrip, California. Oh, I should have done genetics. Dog. Oops. Yes, I do want to delete that sim. I, go, I need to do genetics here. Genetics. Oh, whoopsie daisies. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't do genetics until I've uh, created the parents, right? Duh. Okay. Hang on. I'm not making ugly children. So, okay. Let's start with the nanny. Now, the nanny is not going to wear this outfit. That is what I know. She's not definitely not going to wear that hat. And, yeah, we're going to change her up some. Because I don't feel like this is our nanny. Now, what color here should we go for, for our nanny while I work on her face? Let me know what you think. Is she going to be a redhead? Is she going to be like a really cool funky nanny? I mean, oh, it's been ages since I've done Cass. Like, besides like a horse Cass, which I did like on Wednesday. But I don't think that counts. Uh, I'm going to give her like a little bit more of a chin. A little bit more of a chin. There we go. I uh, definitely want to change the lips. And the nose. Widen her face out a little bit. Soften that. Oh, soften that. I'm going to bring her ears in. And make them smaller. Bring them in. She No, she's definitely not going to be wearing that outfit. Don't worry. <laughs> we are not going to make her wear that outfit. Uh, but no. But yeah, what colour hair should she have? I've got to get a hair colour. You choose, you choose, Leah. What colour hair shall she have? Whoa, those are crazy eyes. Those are a little better. 
girl. I'm gonna make her look beautiful. Ish. What colour hair and what colour eyes? So brown hair, purple eyes. Okay. Is she gonna have short hair or long hair? Do a different nose actually. That one? Yeah, 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 no. I don't know, I might give her like some freckles and some like cute little features. Maybe change her skin colour a little bit as well. Let's see how we go. So she's gonna have brown hair, purple eyes, mid length hair. Okay. Dark brown, light brown. And you love a freckle. I love a freckle as well. Whoops, that's her hair, that's her face colour. There we go. She might change those lips a little bit. Mm, there. Oh, she's looking good. Okay, so we need some brown mid-length hair. So we'll go medium. And we're going to go dark brown. That looks good on her. Your fave is a light, your fave brown is a light brown right before the red. So this one. Okay. Well, you're the only one here, so you get to choose. <laughs> you get to pick everything. Um, Makeup-wise, no. I want to go face-wise. What am I doing? So faces, skin details. And I want to give her wrinkles, although she'll get wrinkles anyway because of the kids. Oh, I love those freckles. I don't I love the all-over face ones as much. Oh, although that one's nicer. Let's go for these ones. I think those are cute, like a cute little smattering. And we can do like a little thing beside her lips because that's cute. And what else we got? Her teeth. I'm fine with her teeth as is. Brow details. Uh, I don't think we're going to give her any scars. Nah. We'll keep her scar free. She's still pretty young. She hasn't like lived life that much. Um. Okay, so then we're going to go on to here medium hmm now i'm thinking like a nanny would be pretty practical right so we need to have like a practical kind of hair like a cute little practical kind of hair like something like this i like i, lo I actually really like that hairstyle it's one of my faves um or she could have it up like that well she does suit a fringe too doesn't she she's very cute I like this one as well. I think that's a cute one. Uh, I always like this one, but it's quite retro. But it's very sweet. I like that one. Or we could go like that. Actually, I really like that. I think that's nice. With like the fringe and stuff. It's simple, but, at night, but nice at the same time. That's cute. Um, I'll see if there's anything else. I'm not going to settle on one thing. Although I do kind of like that. And I do like that for a nanny. Actually, that's super cute for a nanny. Because it's, you know, like practical off your face. Because you're like dealing with kids all day. Yeah, I kind of like that. Is there anything else that stands out to me? I mean, we could go that one as well, but. I quite like with the headband and stuff. Like it's like got a nice like softness to it. Because I feel like someone who's in the nanny business should have a softness to them. You know? Because they should be nice and sweet. Okay. Now, body. Let's go. Um, give us some hips. There we go. Uh, tattoos. I reckon she maybe has a tattoo somewhere. Maybe she has like a cute little doggo cat uh, tattoo. She loves doggos. And that's why she was like so keen on the family. And joining the family. Because she like saw that they had a doggo. And she's like. Oh, I want to join this family. Because they are cute. And they have a doggo. So I'm going to get rid of that. Body scars. Skin details. I could do some more freckles. Maybe. There we go. It's a nice light smattering of freckles. 
Medical wearables. Mm. Nah. Okay. Now we get to choose some clothes. What shall we choose? What shall we choose? I'm thinking again. We're, we're, we're talking like quite practical, right? So I'm thinking maybe something like sneakers and like uh, three quarter cra like crop pants and like a nice t-shirt or something. Like she's got to be running around after the kids and she's got to get spat up on and you know that sort of thing. So I feel like that kind of makes sense for her as a nanny. Like I I wouldn't expect like a nanny to be wearing a uniform unless it's sort of like a really formal household but we are not doing a formal household this is not going to be a formal household at all it's going, probably going to be a household of chaos so i feel like more practical wear is probably going to be the way to go for this nanny um t-shirt wise gosh what a lack of options what sort of color should we go for should we go for teal because i know that's the um, leah's favorite mm. maybe we could go for like a nice teal or something and i don't want to go for like a crop top because um <laughs> go for that <laughs> she's getting like an old dog theme uh because i feel like that's a bit inappropriate with kids so we won't do a crop top but maybe like a cute little teal one would be nice The problem with a lot of the t-shirts in this game is that they are, maybe we should go for a blouse, um, they are quite baggy. Sometimes you don't want a baggy t-shirt. I mean, in real life, I probably want a baggy t-shirt, but in not real life, which is The Sims, I tend towards, like, maybe slightly tighter things. Because, eh, it's not my body. <laughs> it's somebody else's. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, frumpy. I'm trying not to be frumpy. Um, I want, oh, no, it's a crop top. What am I doing? It's like, I want nice, but, you know, not frumpy. It's a, you know what? I'm sure there's, like, some really nice things that are growing together. Oh, this is about the time where I like that top. I use that top all the time because I really like it. Maybe we could go for something like this. But they, they're just, that shows off belly, so not ideal. Showing off the belly all of the time. Something like that. Ooh, that's a lot. That's kind of cute. I can see like that as a nanny top, and it kind of works with her headband. So let's go with that. It's still a little baggy for my taste, but we'll just run with it. And I'm thinking maybe we could go for just like some simple jeans or something. Um... Maybe not with holes in it though, because she is a working, working thing. Babies would rip right... Oh, true. Babies would rip those buttons right off. Oh, they so would. I'm going to change that now. Oh, rats. Rats, rats, rats. All right. Uh, let's go back to t-shirts, because t-shirts don't have buttons. <laughs> oh, t-shirts don't have buttons. Okay, I'm going with that, because that's kind of cute and like nanny-ish, I feel. I feel it's nanny-ish, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, hey, Vivi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Um, I've had a good week, I think. I don't know. It's kind of gone past in a blur. I have no idea what happened, but I think things happened. So we're going to so I'm going to go with it's, it's been fine. I don't remember any disasters, so I'm going to say I've had a good week. How about you? How was your week? Yes, yes, yes. Summer has been ill. I'm currently entertaining her ill self i don't like those i don't like the square on them they're kind of weird oh what about those actually those might work oh oh hmm hmm <laughs> why can't there be nightly nice things that i like oh why she's so impractical with kids but I'm going to go with it. And we're just going to have her in sneakers. Sneaky sneakers. So these might be kind of perfect. And we'll put her some socks on. Because you need some socks on. Just some little white ones. And you know what? That's nice and practical. We're not going to, like, you know, dress her up like, you know, super fancy when it's her everyday wear. Because she's running around after kids. So, you know, everyday wear has to be practical. 
Now, when it comes to formal, however, let's go a whole different route. I'm thinking we will go an updo. You know, this is her one chance to really fancy it up. Because she's, you know, stuck with the kids all day and she wants to look amazing. Uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? Oh, I do like that. Thank you, Batu. And we'll actually put some makeup, uh, more makeup on her. So obviously she's going out, so we're going to add a little bit more drama to her face. So let's go with her eyes. I'm thinking, ugh. Why is that so badly put on? That's what I'm thinking. That works better. And then we'll do like a nice dark eyeliner. Because I love a nice dark eyeliner. Personal preference. <gasps> Your youngest dog got five pups. Oh, you've got a house full of puppies. Oh, that is so amazing. Congratulations on being a puppy mum. Wow, that's cool. A house full of puppies. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Um, I'm thinking like she would go bright red. I feel like she would have like a really nice red lipstick. Ooh, I like that with the gloss. Yeah, she looks stunning. Ooh, wee. Puppies. Well, we're going to be making a puppy today, so that's perfect timing because we're going to be creating a little, a little doggo there. And I thought we could do a puppy anyway, so that's perfect. You can help me with the puppiness. So, what color should we go for? Well, we're going for sort of teal, right? So, uh, let's go find something in a nice teal, which will probably be under green or blue. Okay, I'll just do both. I imagine something will come up under that. What are we going to choose uh, for more wear? Uh, I'll probably go with that one because that's my favourite, but maybe not. Maybe I should mix it up some because I always go with the same things because they're my favourites. That's the thing with Cass. It's like it's hard for me to actually like go out of like the things that I like because those are the things that I like and it's like otherwise it's pretty limited as to the things that I like so you know it's hard to get out of a little zone of things that you like when that's all the things that you like I hope that makes sense but yes that is a problem that I have with the game oh we could go with that that's kind of like a weird fabric but I don't mind the cut of it I don't know. I think like she would suit something darker actually, because she's got like a nice. Yeah, I think it should like fit a nice uh, darker skin tone, and uh, not a darker skin tone, darker um, dress tone, because of her skin tone. Ugh, mixing up my words like a mixy thing. There isn't like a lot. In, oh, Jesus. Uh, and, what is with the like, really weird angular stuff in the city living clothing, right? It's just really weird. <laughs> oh, I might go with that, actually, in the dark blue. And then uh, we can do some heels. Obviously, we want some heels with that. Is there anything like in a night? Maybe we'll go with black. Don't even get me started on the heels in this game. Ugh. So ugly. I'm just not a fan of the, the heels. Maybe we could go for a wedge. Mm. Not any better. Wedge. I mean, I use those wedges all the time. I do like those wedges. But, like, heels, I just, I don't understand them. Why are they just so unattractive in this game? And why do they all have, like, straps across them except for this pair? Why, why, why? See, because I don't want diamonds on the toes. Anyway, I'm just going back to those ones. Uh, and let's think about jewellery too. And I haven't done nails. Uh, I haven't built a house for them actually. I have done zero preparation for this challenge. Beyond uh, getting the rules and reading them. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, I haven't built a house. I was actually going to uh, do a real estate cheat to get a house. Should I build a house or should I real estate cheat it? Uh, and just put them in something that I've already made. 
I mean, I don't know. I hadn't thought that far ahead. I because I figured today was just because we're doing an, a family of eight. I figured it, today was just going to be all cast anyhow. <laughs> so um, I just like those earrings. Okay, that's easy. I just like those ones. Uh, yeah, I've got like about 63 million uh, houses in my library. But whether or not I have any, I have many with eight bedrooms. I know I've definitely got at least one, two. I can think of two off the top of my head that, um, that I have, that I can think of that would have eight. Or, I mean, I guess you don't need like, oops, eight bedrooms. You just need uh, eight beds. Uh, oh, give something pretty like that. Ooh, flowers. I hardly ever use those. Let's use those. Um, and I always go for like really simple necklaces. So I can't help myself because that's my preference. It's just me though. Hmm. What about this? This is quite cool and chunky. Probably not the right style though for this outfit. That's cute. I like that. That's something I would wear. Uh, we probably want that in silver, though. Got anything else? I mean, I don't want to go, like, absurdly chunky with this. I feel like it's, like, you know, quite classy and simple. But, ugh. You know, I think uh, I would like to stick with just... Maybe we'll just do that. That's really classy and simple. And now let's look at a bracelet. Bracelet. Um, I honestly, whenever I do cast, I really, really, really get why um why cast is so popular for CC <laughs> because. <laughs> The cast in The Sims 4 is just, it's its lacking in a lot of ways, I think. So, yeah, um, I, I very much get why people explore outside of the game for other casts. Because, yeah, it's not the best. Ooh, I like those ones. Those are cool. Because, I mean, like, the jewellery is really lacking and the shoes are really lacking. The clothes so so um i didn't actually do everyday nails so maybe we should do those i always forget nails as a thing ah let me do the nails so for every day i'm just gonna go super plain and practical right let's go to sporty uh same again with that now she cannot wear that she is a nanny she's got to wear appropriate clothes let's see if she has your followers on Patreon hit your favourite number yesterday. Um, what's your favourite number? One? No, just kidding. Uh, 12? 73? I don't know what your favourite number is, if I'm being really honest. You have to tell me. So, <laughs> yeah, I know I was being mean. 69. What? <laughs> awesome. 69 followers. That's so cool. Um, okay, so there isn't a single outfit, so let's have a look. Um, I think we'll do... So we're going for like a teal kind of vibe with her, right? And we can't go uh, crop top because we're going appropriate for spending time with children. Maybe that. I don't love the big zip across it, but maybe that. We could go for that with the paws. That's so cute. Are you doing a rags to riches with a new pack? Um, I honestly haven't thought about that. The, the Crystal Collections one, is that what you're talking about? Because I, I honestly, I really don't know. I, I, I mean, I pretty much pay everything if I can get away with it, uh, rags to riches, if I'm being really honest. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to go with that. And um, so, yeah, I would probably do rags to riches, I would imagine. Because I, yeah, actually, you know what? thinking about that like uh the pack is about like crystal collection and um making stuff from crystals so i mean if you've got like a sim running around uh doing rags to riches and they're going to be collecting collectibles anyway so it makes sense to me 
to do like a rags to riches challenge with that pack actually i think yeah yeah i mean i hadn't put any thought into it but first thought is yes yes i would do rags to riches because I think that would actually work because you know you're going to be collecting all the stones anyway and then uh, build up until you can afford um, you know to buy the I assume it's going to be at like a table or something like that and then you can like start making money via via that route I think that would be good I think we'll go like PJs like those or that I like these PJs. I think they're cool. Yeah, I think next Barbie in line. I think I might have play Barbie play with it as her side hustle instead of baking. Yeah, I was actually thinking about um, having that as a side hustle. No, because I'm not doing any other challenge. Like I'm doing, oh, for 100 babies. That's what I was thinking about, for 100 babies. Green, blue. Uh, what should we do for party wear? Nothing too saucy. Mm, but, you know, at least a little nice. I do like that. I think that's really cute. It's probably the cutest outfit from uh, for rent. Although I do like that dress too. Is there a in a teal? Ooh, we can go like a nice print. And maybe we can like put her hair up again. Uh, something less formal though. Let's do that. And we can maybe get a little, because it's party time, we can put like a little bit of makeup on her. Uh, okay, updo. Maybe we can do that other updo that I liked, which was... That one? No, wasn't that one. Maybe that one looks just a little bit more relaxed. Oh, and it's got like a teal thingy. And then we can give her some more makeup. Because, you know, we've got to go like a little bit darker for party times, right? If you go into a party, you're going to dress it up some. So do eyeliner. Ooh, nice and smoky. I love a smoky eye. I'm big on smoky eyes. She looks good with smoky eyes. Oh, I didn't change her eye color. Oopsie, it's supposed to be purple. Completely forgot about that. There we go, purple eyes. Purple eyes, and then back to party time. Um, and so we've done everything except her lips. Maybe we can do like a lighter color in the lips this time, rather than going quite so dark. Oh, that's nice. Uh, shoes and jewellery actually let's do some earrings because I think you should do some earrings and maybe we can do like an eyebrow ring um, oh that's a cool idea like passing jewellery down uh, through the generations that's a good idea I like that idea that's kind of nice if I was more of a legacy player um, which I do struggle with legacy play uh, in, in like my own time because I get distracted so easily um <laughs> and I don't know I just like I'm not very good with story uh, with the storytelling side of things or uh in terms of like the details of storytelling and stuff within the sims 4 like some people are just so detailed and amazing with their storytelling when it comes to like legacy play and stuff I'm just like in awe of what uh some people do with their games right I'm just more of a challenge player because I think it's just I prefer I, I don't I don't mind a legacy challenge but I mean a legacy but I think it needs to have like a challenge or a goal for me just like having a legacy for the the sake of a legacy I really do struggle I do struggle with it I did try but I just went off the rails very quickly because <laughs> I couldn't help myself Ooh. I don't think that bracelet works with that at all. Uh, I want to go pearls. Jeez Louise. The options are so dire. I don't want a scrunchie. Yeah. Make me cry, these options. These options are making me cry. Okay, like a nice plain bracelet. Okay, that'll do the trick. 
All right. I get bored without chaos, so legacies won't work. Yeah, I do as well. Like, I, because I don't have, like, I don't want to spend the time, like, creating, like, uh, all the legacies and background, which some people are amazing at. And I think that seems like an amazing thing, but yeah, I just don't have, I just don't have it in me to, to be that kind of player. I just prefer something, I guess, a little simpler <laughs> doing a direct challenge, I guess. <sighs> Your legacies have plenty of chaos, yes. I, th I think it's not that so much that legacies don't have chaos. I think it's just that, um challenge play versus just legacy play where you're creating the stories and stuff like that it's I don't know I think it's a different different thing really isn't it I feel like it is should we change your hair no I don't think so Leah smarty pants oh that's stylish almost uh -huh. I mean she's almost coordinated except for the jewelry um, you know what? I'm just gonna keep that because you know, stylish, stylish, and I've completely forgotten the uh, fingernails again. Ah, <sighs> every time I'm a forget, I'm a fingernail forgetter. So maybe we can add like a little bit of color to that. Uh, what do we got? Let's do purple for our eyes, and then party dress. Let's go. That has like a really nice bright blue. Ooh. That will do the trick. And I actually kind of want to go same again for that. Now, she's gone quite classy in the old hot weather wear. So maybe we can go like a little bit classy. I do like the, the ombre nails. I think they're really cool. They are quite sharp though. Colourful. Let's just add a little bit of colour to her outfit with that. And I think we'll just stick plain with with these. We haven't done that outfit yet. Whee! Okay, do we need to add anything else to this outfit? Maybe if we've got like a greenish bracelet. I'm not going to hold my breath. I think we're going to have anything that I like. Oh. That will do the trick. Just a little bit of colour color there we are hot weather and cold weather uh, hmm i could do it like a full body this would be cute and the teal oh i always look at that in the cold weather i'm just like oh her legs look cold <laughs> Is that the mum and me or is that the mum and me? Look, her legs look cold. Ah. We could go goth. <laughs> That's not quite the right look for her. I don't think so. Um, uh, What have we got in the way of jackets and stuff? I want her like, you know, like, to look at, want her to look cosy. You know? She should look like she's warm because she's got to be a good example for the kids who will need to be convinced on a cold day to get dressed appropriately because kids will not be get dressed appropriately if they can help it. Most kids anyway. That's a bit too formal, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit over the top. Could be good on some sims, but not this sim. It's nice and snuggly. Oh, maybe we could go like this one. And, um, oh, I don't like the orange bit sticking out though. Yuck. Changed my mind on that. Oh, we could go for the hoodie. <laughs> and make our eyes look enormous. If I can turn everyone into a vampire and add more in the world, like a hundred baby challenge, I would enjoy it since everyone will be burning in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh that sounds like fun uh let's go with that and then maybe we can just go for like simple jeans to go with these Ooh, we're almost finished our first character it's only taken me 30 minutes yikes oh dear i am not the bestest at cast i admit it but i do enjoy it when i'm in it 
I just get a little frustrated sometimes with some of their lack of options with some stuff. But I imagine that's the case for most people. Um, I don't know what colour looks good with that. Maybe that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I want to go white. I think like a grey would probably work. Okay. Let's do that. And I'm thinking I'm going to pair that with some nice boots. Because it is winter. And we want to wear some really nice snuggler boots. Like these ones. Big Ugg boots. Mm, comfy. Snow boots. Actually, those I don't hate. Maybe I can change the colour of the top. Uh -huh. There we go. That's better. Alright, so um, do we get to choose all the traits and stuff with the nanny? Oh, we can. Oh, yay. Okay. Normally I would randomise, but maybe I won't in this case. Hmm, so I feel like she wants to be family orientated. Oh, um, hang on. What's this? So these it's some Sims cold. become happy around family members, become sad if they don't interact with family for a period of time and can boast about family. No, because she's not going to be around family. She's going, to, I think she's a dog lover. Because she's got a dog tattoo. So I'm going to make her a dog lover. Um doesn't hate children I think that would just be the worst possible thing I could pick <laughs> imagine if you're like you did this challenge and you picked hates children <laughs> that would be the worst oh dear um overachiever I think I'm gonna make her an overachiever and Hmm, cheerful. <laughs> I think those are great. <laughs> I would definitely make it interesting, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> a nanny that hates children. <gasps> um, and we can choose whatever aspiration we want to. Okay. <laughs> what aspiration should I choose? I don't actually even know. Popularity? Vampire, leader of the pack. Jokester, discerning dweller. Uh, I don't know. Family? Because she's not really doing the family thing. She's just raising somebody else's family. Uh, inner peace? Let's get some inner peace. Okay. Leah Smarty Pants is done. So I can call my, my family whatever I like. I don't know what to call them. So if you guys have any suggestions what to call them let's do that um let's just jesus where to start <laughs> um okay so here car body There we go, and we'll do, um, I actually don't think he's a bad looking guy. I'm, a, I'm probably not going to touch his face too much. I'm probably just going to, like, give him, like, some actual eyebrows. Whoa, and, uh, maybe a different colour. <laughs> some of these eyebrows are hilarious. <laughs> like, I quite like those, uh, but it looks silly without hair. Um, and I might make him a ginger blonde but yeah if you guys have any suggestions for what names you guys want me to do for the family i'm quite open to that i haven't thought about um names for the family at all Ooh, looks so much better with hair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now Okay, so the parents are two successful career-driven sims. Uh, so I've got to think, you know, he's going to have to look professional, right? So I think something like that would really suit him. You know, he kind of looks like Archie from um, Riverdale. <laughs> A little bit. Well, you know what? Despite the fact that I he looked terrible when I first 
um, looked at him. He actually, like, the bones of him are really good. Oh, oh Borogany. Yeah, Borogany. That's right. Um, so, yeah, let's get his body sorted. Now, what are we going to have for his body? Let's give him some muscles. He works out. Uh, tattoos. Mm, what does Daddy have? Call him Archie. Oh, I should call him Archie. What's his surname going to be? Uh, Archie Rivers. <laughs> Some Riverdale. <laughs> How creative. Uh, um, tattoos. So maybe it's Home Shoe Castle. Uh, that's like dirty hands. Maybe we can go for something like that. I feel like he would like probably rock a rock a sleeve. Although he is a professional career driven guy, so I think maybe he would like be a little bit simpler if he was gonna go for a tattoo. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if he would have a tattoo. Uh. Okay. Let's maybe just mix the tattoos. Um here I'm just gonna take off the growth because I don't like it. And I don't want back hair. And I don't want link hair. I just don't want the hair. But I can maybe see him with like a scar. Just like a little back scar. Yeah, he's been in a, a little bit scarred, I think. That's probably a bit much. Okay, so there we go. That's his body. Archie Busy Bee. Okay. Archie Busy Bee it is. Archie Busy Bear. So, so. Uh, now, I'm going to just go through and quickly do the nails one by one. Uh, because I'm not going to do anything with his, uh, with his fingernails. I'm just going to keep them the same in every outfit. There we go. That one. That one. That one, I can tell already he's wearing some interesting outfits. But let's start with the everyday outfit. Now, he is a busy professional, so we need to have a professional style outfit, right? So let's go. I'm just going to give him like a suit because I feel like he would be rocking the suits 24-7. That's the kind of guy he is. He's like... um. You know, did you guys watch the show Suits? <laughs> it was a sort of a very obvious segue, but yeah, the, from the suits, and they're always sort of rocking like business suits and stuff like that. That's what I kind of imagine he's going to be. Yeah. Short dress of sets. Um, but whether or not, I can't see like a nice basic suit. You know, just like a everyday kind of not wearing a bow tie kind of suit like hmm. I go to work and I rock it kind of work I mean that's kind of casual because he doesn't have a tie hmm. maybe that's probably the best of the we could go with that oh oh I like that green on him okay and I kind of want to go like uh, lace ups maybe in a brown is there a darker brown? No, there are. Yes, there is. Yeah, slightly darker brown. And I'll give him some socks because you don't want to be walking around in business wear with no socks on. Okay, so Archie Busy Bee, that's your everyday. Oh, yikes. What's with all the makeup, man? He's a good looking guy. Why did he have makeup on? Didn't need to hide behind makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's such a sexist thing to say. Oh, yikes. Shut me up now, please. Whoa. Um, I feel like, you know, he would be more of a no-tie guy at a, an actual formal, formal affair. Like, you know, he's like, I'm hot and I know it, and I'm not wearing a tie. Where was that other suit that I just saw before with no tie? Now I can't see it. You could go for that. Hmm. Hmm. 
it's not that one that's not the one i saw with no tie but i can't see it oh maybe it's because of the fact i've still got a filter on for green blue <laughs> oh that wouldn't help oh that's one i just chose <laughs> that's because it's my favorite one i like that one uh, oh actually that's sharp I don't, e I don't even think I need to change that at all. Uh, I like it in black with the blue. I think that's really nice. Oh, should I change his eye color, by the way? So if you guys have any thoughts about what his eye color should be, because <laughs> I haven't changed his eye color, uh, let me... <laughs> this is the makeup, man. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, so he would probably be serious about going to the gym, I think. Because he takes things seriously. He's a serious kind of guy. So he would uh, put as much effort into going to work as he would with working out. So I can see him putting that time into, into his working out. And some regular sessions at the gym. I can definitely see that with him. Um, now, gym shoes. Let's go for sneakies. It's going pretty plain, but we might go with like these cool. No, not those. Those are better. Those are better. Green eyes. Okay, I'll make him green eyes. I think uh, red hair, green eyes. That makes sense, right? So, ah, uh, which shade of green? Ooh, got that shade. That shade. So we got one, two. Three, four, five. Oh, that's more into blue. And six. See, that's greener. And that's definitely blue. So, what do you guys think? One, two, three, four, five, or six. You know what? I really like six, but you guys tell me if you think I should go for a different one. I don't mind. One's quite nice, too. Actually, they're all quite nice. Two's more hazel. Three's quite clear. Four's nice. Five I don't really like because it's too blue. But six is quite nice. It's kind of like a hazel. Do you think four? One, two, three, four. That one? All right, well, you answer first. You get to pick. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And so that is our, yep, there we go, sleepwear. Uh, I can see him wearing this. Oh, in, the, in that green. Oh, the makeup. Stop it with the makeup. He doesn't need blush. Oh, he also doesn't need slippers. We'll take those slippers off. Okay, party wear. Oh, blush. Is he wearing blush every time? Yes. Why? Like, I have done nothing to his face except take away all the dumb accessories. He was like a handsome man under there. Anyway, um, party wear, I can sort of see this as more the time where he's like out with the neighbours, socialising with the neighbours and putting it on like, you know, um, putting on like a bit of a networking kind of thing. I can sort of see him as a guy that's out there networking and making uh, acquaintances, acquaintances from there. So I think something like that and maybe he could go shorts. Would he go shorts? Mm, nah, I think maybe a nice pair of jeans without any holes on them. Because he's not the kind of guy that would have any holes in his jeans. And shoes. Maybe we'll go with those ones. There we go. Style. Right, swimwear. I, I'm not seeing him as a guy that wears like oodles of accessories. I think definitely sunglasses, but not oodles of, of, of accessories. Um, and I think like these. That's our guy. And we'll give him... Uh, definitely he's proud of his body because he works hard on it. So I think he'll just wear shorts. I don't think he would wear a top. I can't see him wearing a top. But I kind of don't see him wearing speedos either. Maybe in the grey? I think so. Now, hot weather wear. Uh, we're going to do sunglasses again because he needs more sunglasses on. 
maybe we can have like a different pair like these ones i like these ones those are cool or we could go those ones Ooh, i see them in these ones they're a bit classier you know you know um i've got any cool sets in there no, i do not see him wearing any of those uh hot weather wear yeah i can see him in something like that just like a singlet and some nice shorts just pretty simple but he's not often in this hot weather wear because you know because he's always at work actually i kind of like these because they've got like a little bit more of a formal cool. look to them which i think works Ooh. pink and the gray and then we might just put them in flip-flops or like sandals that could work now cold weather wear um i can see him wearing like something like this which is kind of like business cold or except not those boots obviously or like that or what's that i wish you could take the, the gold thing off that <laughs> oh that would be great uh, Ooh, what about this one yeah that's the one that's one actually yeah i like that check as well i think that's really stylish we're definitely going to get rid of the boots and we're just going to go to the lace-ups uh maybe actually more business wear and the brown Mm, brown or black black might actually work better Ooh, fancy man archie busy bee all right archie busy bee you are going to be should i randomize it or pick um i feel like if we because he's quite specific in who he is so i think he's ambitious um self-assured and what else have we got that's materialistic sure uh -huh. okay and his aspiration is going to be fortune driven so he's going to try and be fabulously wealthy okay archie busy bee let's move on to some number three now she's going to be someone busy bee but what's her first name going to be someone busy bee what's her name gonna be I'm gonna change her lips because I like a nice full lip. Ooh, that's better. Otherwise, we just need to choose an eye color. I'm thinking like a really cool, like blue would be nice. Like a bright blue. Ooh. Because that's quite aqua. Maybe that. And I mean, she's a redhead as well. So maybe we can have like two redheads. Vanessa? Vanessa Busy Bee. Alright. Done. Oh. Vanessa Busy Bee. So she is also a career driven. I've been like really lucked out with some really good looking sims actually. I haven't had to do much to them. The most I had to do was like the nanny. But these guys are actually pretty good looking. Yeah. You know it. Now, um, I'm thinking maybe we'll go with like short hair. I always go like longer hair with the females, but why don't we go short hair for once? Just something a little different. Just mix it up. If I can find something I like. Otherwise, it'll be like, <laughs> whatever. I'll change it up. But I'm just thinking, you know, she's a professional. She doesn't like muck around with her hair. Like she wants something that's quick and easy just to uh, put some product through and look fabulous. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if it's like suit the professional look though. I think maybe something more sleek would work for her. But I don't know. We'll see if it's something I like. I don't know. I don't hate that. I can see that that's a bit too, a bit too punk. Although I guess she could be professional and like career driven and have like a cool like maybe she's a tattoo artist or something like that. I mean that would be cool. I know not that we can do that in the game but it would be cool <laughs> i should have probably thought about what careers they would be but uh, I, I don't know until i get to the game and think about it because i can't think of careers i don't do careers often enough in the game to really know off the top of my head what the careers are <laughs> there's very few i can remember 
just because I, uh, yeah, I kind of don't do them a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with her here. Oh, oh. I think maybe that. That gives her like that 80s chic, right? Maybe that's what she's going for, like the power, the power shoulder pads and stuff. <laughs> So, um, do we have any, like, suits for females? Is there any, like, female, like, suits, like, that aren't ridiculous? I have a feeling that there isn't. Uh, full body. Jumpsuit sets. I mean, there's that, but, like, that's a waitress outfit. I mean, that's just, like, a, yeah, that's a butler. But is there not, like, any business suits for females? My wedding stories came with a nice suit. Oh, does it? Oh, that's right, it did too. Uh, this one? Oh, this one. That was the better one. I can see her wearing that. I'm going to change her skin tone because it's kind of, like, orange she's looking very orange from a distance um uh, wrong thing i don't really want to go lighter i just want to go less orange maybe we need to go cooler that's better um okay so i like that and she could do pair that with a nice pair of heels. Obviously, we need to have uh, enclosed toes because we're talking business times here. Something like that. Oh, yeah. She's a business lady making the business. Nails. I can see her having like some really nice and well-maintained nails. Like she's proud of her nails. Uh, I can see that for sure. Ooh, yeah. Uh, jewellery wise, I reckon we could definitely do some makeup and jewellery actually on her. Uh, eyes. Nothing too heavy, but something that's, you know, visible. Like that. And just do that. Lip wise, like a nice gloss. I think that'll do the trick. And we'll pair that with like some cool earrings. Mm, cool earrings. Let's see what we've got. Something business. Oh, we can give her like a mic like that. She's always on the phone because she's always busy. No, I can't do that. That's a bit too far. Uh, we can go like that with those. Actually, where's the nice? Oh, no, hoops probably won't be appropriate. Um. Strawberries, probably not appropriate. We could go for like a simple drop earring like that. And then if there's like a nice little drop simple necklace, that would probably probably work with it. Something in that shape, but not that colour. Uh, it doesn't I don't want it to look like it's like super formal. It's never quite what you want, right? <laughs> it's like, it's never quite what you want. Okay. Um, oh, what about something like this? That could be her lucky coin. Okay, so that is her everyday look. We've basic, got the basics down. Now, formal. She is going to wear something tight. She is going to wear something strapless. And she is going to wear something sexy because she is a powerful woman and she is going to show off what she's got and she is going to make you look at her and she is going to be out there and making a name for herself because that's the kind of woman that she is. Um, whether or not we've got something that looks like that, I don't know, but that's what I kind of see her in. Maybe something like that. 
Oh, I mean, I know it's not strapless, but it's showing a lot of back and a lot of boob. And I think that might be the best option we have. Oh, we don't really have a lot of, um, yeah, strapless options, which surprises me. I would have thought we would have had more. So accessory wise, I can see something sort of shiny and bling. I can see her like wearing quite a lot of bling. When it comes to this stuff um piercings i should probably select that what about like bling nah. that's her lucky horseshoes and necklace again nice bling something bling we want to have the bling because mama wants the bling oh Okay, now I need to change the earrings. Because those necklaces, uh, that necklace is right. Uh, hmm. Oh, nope. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're going to go with that. And then she would like wear a uh, diamond bracelet as well. She's going to be all about the diamonds and showing off how well she's doing. Because obviously, she wants to make everybody jealous. Because she has such a fabulous life. She has a nanny that is amazing. Uh, and she works. And she has all of the bling. I can't see like a diamond bracelet there. That'll do the trick. And is there like a diamond ring that we could use? This one. There we go. Let's do her fingernails. So once again, she is very proud of her fingernails. What about if we did... That's a bit too sharp. I don't feel like she would be sharp. Oh, with the bling on it. Yes. I don't like that bracelet now that I see it up close. So let's change the bracelet. Um, uh, seriously, that's all the options. Don't make me cry. Okay, well, that's close enough. And I just can't see what her shoes are. Oh, those green horrible things. Okay, well, let's change that to those ones with the bling. All right. Oh, and that drops down the back. Isn't that the perfect necklace for that, for necklace for that dress? I think so. So, Vanessa Busy Bee, let's give you, oh, that, we've only done her formal wear. <laughs> Making eight sims takes a while, right? Oh my gosh. There's a lot. It's a lot of things that you're wearing there, Vanessa B Busy Bee. This is Vanessa Busy Bee. Uh, I can see her wearing a hat. I feel like she would wear like a nice little plain hat while she's running. She would like get up at like 5am and run every day. I can see that for her. Because she's like her husband and like they would go out and they would run and take care of themselves and then like go to work and be like fully energized and ready to go because basically they pay someone else to look after their kids and they're not tired all the time <laughs> they have energy do i sound bitter maybe i do maybe i do maybe i am maybe i'm living out my fantasies through uh vanessa here <laughs> I mean, nah, I, I actually like spending time with my kids, so I don't know if I'd have a nanny. They're not that hard to care for anyway. Uh, most of the time. Well, yeah, okay. Sometimes they are. Tell a lie. Um, you know what? We don't going to do anything to her hair. The thing is with the short hair, you actually don't need to do much to it because it's just going to... Like, even, like, you can't really put it as an updo because, obviously, it's too short to really do much with the updo. I mean, you could change the styling of it, I guess. We could maybe do that for the party thing. I can see her in something like this in a black and definitely no slippers. That's her style. She's definitely into lingerie. So let's maybe try, like, doing, like, a little slightly different do for her for a party. So maybe she was, like, adds, like, gets her hair down. Yeah. And now she's going to party. Hands down, and she's got a party. So uh, let's go short dress once again. She is all about the tight. She is showing off what she's got because she works hard for it. So why not? 
could go that. I was kind of thinking something shorter. <sighs> I feel like that's a little too casual. That I can see her in, and like, yeah, that definitely. And I actually quite like the boots, but maybe in a black. And we'll give her some makeup. Okay, so eyes, once again, will go smoky as we can get. Uh, cat's eyes. Maybe that one. And cheeks and lips. Hmm, I'm thinking something nice and bright for her lips for this one. Like a nice dark wine red. Ooh, that's sexy. And she wouldn't have a necklace, but she would have earrings in this instance. So let's give her some earrings. Something simple and cool. Because she's definitely like more, like when she's partying, she's more about the cool, looking cool and stylish and on point, right? So we'll do that. Maybe not the chunky watch. What else we got that we can put on here? Um, <laughs> the jewelry in this game makes me so sad maybe that's why I don't go into cast so, so often it makes me too sad okay swimwear she is going to wear a two piece for sure these and definitely sunglasses uh, something quite big I think I can see her wearing maybe even like a oh if she's swimming no we'll do a sun hat for hot weather wear I think I'm hoping to feel better enough tomorrow to stream for Barbie. You stream Barbie, I miss Barbie. Oh, yeah, it would be good if you were feeling better uh, for that. Because, you know, you got to play your Barbie. She'll be missing you too. Okay, so let's think about a two-piece. Oh, yes, I can see her in this. Oh, yeah. Mama's going to shake it. Ha-ha, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. Hot weather wear, so it's a hard no to that outfit. But let's do that and glasses. Uh, maybe like the aviators. And I might put some like Ooh. lipstick on her. Like a light gloss would be good. And then we'll change her outfit. So we'll get rid of those. Oh, I forgot to take off the necklace. Rats! Necklace be gone. Um, okay, what would she wear for hot weather wear? I mean, once again, I don't think this is like something that she would wear very often. Because uh, she's always sort of at work. Yeah, actually, I quite like that. Just like something plain and simple and classy. I feel like that's very her. And then like a nice pair of shorts. Maybe a skirt? Uh, no, I sort of see her more in shorts, I think. Okay, let's change this to shorts so I stop putting on skirts. <laughs> but yeah, I see her more in like a nice pair of like tailored shorts almost. Like something like that, I can absolutely see her in. Uh, maybe can like do. Get away from the black on black. I could just very easily go black on black, but I think those are cute. And then maybe uh, some stylish sandals, like these, from thing. I think that's what we chose for our husband. So maybe we should choose something different for her. I got like a nice tan color. There we go. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to put her in the wedges. Because I love these wedges. Uh, I think that colour actually... Is it too yellow? Hmm. Actually, I, know, I think that one works best. Okay. And last one. I'll be proud of you because you recorded two speed builds this week. Wow. Two... That is amazing. You know, I'll be even prouder of you when you edit it. <laughs> but yes, that is great. Fantastic. You hit record. I am proud of you. Well done. Well done, Obsessed Summit. You have done extraordinarily well. 
Oh, it is, it is. I mean, it, content creation isn't easy. There's a lot involved and it takes up a lot of time and sometimes you don't always have that time, you know? So it can be quite the challenge, particularly like like yourself where you work full time and stuff. Um, you know, you've got to really balance your time and plus, you know, obviously health as well. So you're doing very well. You should be proud of yourself. You should be very proud of yourself. I mean, anyone who works as well as doing content creation and as well as having a life, I mean, that's impressive stuff right there. That's impressive stuff. Um, I think I'll just go for like a nice light gloss for her. Classy as. She's a classy broad. Okay, classy broad Vanessa Busy Bee. Uh, now, what are we going... I feel like she's not generous. I feel like she's a little jealous. Uh, she definitely wants to know. She likes to... I think she's a bit of a snob. Vanessa, I'm going to make like a little bit more of a cow. <laughs> Um, what else? I think maybe I'll give her like a really a nicer a nicer one as well. But she's definitely more of the she's more oh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't really know. She's more of a more of more of a go getter. Maybe she's ambitious as well. There we go. All right, she's jealous, a snob, and ambitious. That seems like on point for her. And her thing is to have a mansion baron. So she's gonna, they're gonna have like the two fortune things between them. Now we can actually make some kids, and then we'll move on to doggo. So uh, let's do genetics because we've actually got our make her me health. What is this word? <laughs> Okay, um, what do you mean unknown pair? Oh, I should set their relationship, shouldn't I? So what do we need? We need a teen, a child, and twin infants. Okay. So we'll do a child is going to be a teen. And I think I'm going to make the teen oh, a oh, boy. There we go. So, tell me what you think his name should be. Actually, give me all the names. What names should I call them all? Give me more names. I'm going to randomly generate them, and then we'll, we'll come up with all their names and stuff for them. Oh. Broken my game. It's fine. Okay, there we go. So, uh, then we need a child. So, we'll make her female. And child. And randomize sister. There we go. It's going to be a big family of redheads. And now I'm just going to do from there. And genetics. And we need twin infants. Archie Jr. Is that the best you can come up with? Angelica? <laughs> okay, Archie Jr. and Angelica. All right. So, uh, there we go. That's the mama. And we're going to have infants. So, I reckon I might do like a boy and a girl infant. So, randomize son. Oh, can I have the one back that we just had? <laughs> here we go. I want that one. And then we'll do the twin. I didn't actually pay attention if that was a boy or a girl. Shoot. Randomized twin. Uh, hang on. Was that a boy or a girl? I really did not look. Matthew Everest Archie. Archie even. McDad Archibald and Teen Archie. Uh, so that is male. Okay, so it is a boy, so we need to uh, do a female. Righto. Righto. So then it's two boys, two girls, uh, the parents, and a doggo. Who's going to be a puppy? Ah, so cute. 
Rain Demise Twin. Here we go, and it's going to be a female twin. Here we go. Brilliant! So, next up is Doggo. What are we going to call Doggo? Everest? Um, oh, I haven't done like a... I don't even know if I've ever made a dog. Head shape. I don't know. I don't know. What do you, what do you ask me these things for? Um, breed. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with breed. Fifi. All right. Fifi Busy Bee. Fifi it is. Now, which breed should we do? Husky? Ralph, Ralph. Whatever that is. Ruff, ruff. Any particular preferences for breed? I have zero preference whatsoever. I'll just choose something cute. Oh, you're a big one. Oh, you kind of look sad. Also, uh, I need to make them a puppy. How do I make them a puppy? Puppy. There we go. Bichon Freeze. Okay. I don't know which one that is. Afghan Hound, Airdale Terrier, Alaskan Akita, American Eskimo, Australian Cattle Dog, Bassinji, uh, Australian Shepherd, Beagle, Bedlington Terrier, Bernese Mountain Dog, Bichon Freeze. Okay, there we go. Make them hype. Make who hype? What? Hype? What's a hype? Oh. oh, oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, dog hyper. How do you make the dog hyper? Oh, as a trait. Like, seriously, I've never made a dog. <laughs> it didn't occur to me <laughs> that you can make them hyper. Uh, Shall we have a short little stumpy tail, a little curly tail? Ooh. I kind of just like the little waggly tail with the curl. I think that's cute. Now, coat and colour colour patterns. <laughs> now, what should we do? What should we do? Uh, we've got a redhead family. I mean, should we have like a little a little red a little red one? Oh, that's cute. Oh, so sweet. That I like that one. I'm gonna make it that one. Oh, so it's a little cutie. Yes, you are. Fizz. Whoa. <laughs> paint mode. Oh, no, I don't want to be in paint mode. <laughs> I'm not getting that involved. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so we're gonna make them hyper. Are we? I honestly, seriously, have never done this. Act, so active, is that the one? Is that hyper? I can see it's, oh, it's 11.28. Your brain is turning itself off. Oh, that is late. Um, okay, so uh, active, I imagine that's the hyper thing, right? Or jumpy, playful. So I'm going to go with active and adventurous. Jumpy, I don't know which ones are good. Loyal, adventurous, uh, maybe not adventurous because I don't want them to run away because they might lose points or something for that. So we don't want that. Uh, jumpy, hairy, hunter. Yeah, you can go get me things. That would be good. Okay, so now we are on to the this Fifi. So now we are going to call this guy Archie Jr. Because we're super creative like that. Archie Jr. Busy Bee. And he is our teenager that's going to be in the household. Now, I'm not going to change any of the features of the kids um, because they are genetically created from their parents. In fact, I'll probably just about leave his hair as well. But maybe he's like a little bit more of a rebel, a little bit more softer because his parents are like hardcore uh, professionals. So he's kind of like, you know what? I'm not into that. I'm more chill, dude. 
Actually, I want to make, kind of make him a bro. Yeah, he's going to be a bro. He's going to be like the opposite of his parents. He's going to be a good bro and he's all, he's going to be about the family. So I reckon he's going to be about a big happy family. That's who I think he is. Loyal dog for them to stay. Oh, okay. All right. So maybe we should make him loyal rather than a hunter. There we go. Oh, you cute little puppy. So we need some cool clothes for this guy. Um, so he's more of a bro. He's chilled out. He's relaxed. He's cool, you know. He likes hanging out with his friends and just being... Being, you know, a good a good person. He's like, you know, just want to follow the example of his parents where it's all about the work. You know, he wants to actually find meaning in life. I feel like this is what um, Archie Jr. is all about. He's going a different direction from his friends. Um, something like that, but not with the rips in it. He's got quite skinny little legs, this guy. Those kind of sit weird. Like, it like, kind of makes them like, look like a bean pole. <laughs> oh, dear. Like, the crotch is, like, weirdly low. Is it just me? But it feels like, yeah. See, like, that crotch is, like, way higher. And, like, that one's way down there. But I kind of, I'm kind of drawn to those and I don't know why. I just want them in a nice pair of jeans. That'll do the trick. Okay, and you're just going to be, you're going to be a casual guy, so you're just going to be in sneakers 24-7. You are a 24-7 sneaker wearer. Actually, you're really into those sneakers. Actually, those match the uh, top quite nicely. Uh, okay, four more wear. <laughs> oh, no, that's dreadful. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, the Sims 4. The things you do. Uh, once again, we really want to go casual, formal, uh, so something like, maybe not that. It's a little bit too farmery. Huh. Yeah, maybe, what have we got in the nine top? Something like that, actually, I can see him in. So, like that, and... Yikes, no. I kind of want to make him less skinny. He's like such a bean pole. I want to change his body, actually. His body shape is weirding me out. He's too bean pole for me. Okay, we're going to go with that instead. There we are. And shoes. Lace ups. Maybe in the light. And we'll give him some socks as well. And please remind me to actually give him some nails <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Uh, I always forget those nails. Uh, it's like, you know, when you're building and um, they gave them room. Uh, yeah, so when you're building, you like forget like the rubbish bin and the letterbox. It's the kind of, same kind of thing. Okay, sporty-wise, um, they gave them room. What does that mean? Was I talking about something? I've completely forgotten. You know, I just, you know, when you're talking and it just kind of, oh, the jeans. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about now. Okay, yes, they gave him room. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying there. Uh, you know what? I, might, I, might, I kind of want to give this guy color. Like, I feel like he's like brighter and slightly, slightly more colorful. Although that color doesn't suit him at all than his uh, than his parents. And he's gonna get along really well with the Danny. I feel like they're gonna be like you know, kind of kindred spirits. So that's gonna be cool. Those are weird shoes. I've never looked at those shoes before, but they're like super weird. Like they got like a material part up there. Not into it, as it turns out. Uh, I might just go white and then just give him some, some little socks. Okay, so actually I kind of want something with a pattern on it. Maybe something a little bit more cooler. Because, you know, fashion I feel like he would be into. Because, you know, 
he, he's a teenager and he hangs out with his friends. Something like that would be better. There we go, in the brown. Okay, sleepwear. I mean, he's got siblings and he's kind of like the big brother to his siblings and stuff. And he's kind of like that example that he leads for his siblings. So, you know, he's going to be wearing pajamas. He's not going to be wandering around in uh, next to nothing. I mean, that's just not appropriate. He's setting the example for his younger siblings. So, uh -huh. we'll put him in some pajamas. Party wise. Ha. Huh. Now, um. What have we got that's cool? I can see him in like a nice shirt. Yeah, jacket, t-shirt, sweaters. Uh, does it go under blouse? Maybe. I don't think I see him in that, but I do see him in like a nice shirt of some description. Just not that. Okay, blouses is not good. That's kind of cash, kind of him. Maybe in a lighter colour and then like just with some jeans. Me and my eternal problem of finding jeans that I like. Hmm. It's like real life. Oh yeah, cropped. And then maybe he could have like, because he's a sneaker guy, we'll have some have him in some like cool sneakers. Maybe a lighter ones like that. Yeah, sneakers. And swimwear. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> That's a bit much. I'm sorry, dude. I will let you keep the glasses. We're just going to change the color on them. Um, maybe we'll go blue and then we'll get your your little swimmies. Why did they put swimmies on those? Swimmies off there and we'll give you a nice pair of shorts. Um, probably also in blue if we can find some. I don't see this guy being a speedo kind of guy. That's probably more his vibe. And we can keep, them, keep the shoes as well. Uh, nah. Alright, sunglasses and then hot weather wear. Let's see. Not the, not the earring. That's not very him. But we'll definitely do maybe a cap and sunglasses. So what have we got in the way of caps? Caps, caps, caps. Ugh. Seriously, like, ball caps are like a big fashion thing for guys, you know? Why don't we have more options? Uh, we'll definitely do colours. You know, if, if guys are going out, like, if they're choosing a hat, like, 90% of the time, they've got to be choosing, like, a, a ball cap, right? I'm not wrong in this, am I? Because I, I, I live with a man, and that is his fashion. Although, he does wear, like, a little fedora thing as well, but... Either of those, that's what he would sort of wears. Uh, orange. Uh, kind of want to go. Maybe we could go like a bit of brown on that actually there. That would work. Nice. Donuts is his favourite. <laughs> donuts. Doing the donuts. Yeah, donuts. <laughs> donuts. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, hot weather wear. Ooh. Ooh. Nah. I can see him in a singlet. He's going to be pretty cash, right? Um, what do they call them here? Tank tops? You guys call um, I call them singlets. We call them singlets here. Do you call them singlets or tank tops? In your country or Ori... Or, 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 what is it? Country of origin. That's the word I was trying to say. <laughs> it wasn't coming out right. Tank tops, singlets, I mean, what's the, what's the, what's the lingo in your neck of the woods? We definitely go singlets is uh, what we call them here in New Zealand, but I know that we are probably different to the rest of the world because uh -huh. it happens. Tank for men, camisole for women. Okay. Camisole. So camisole, um, we sort of use for more underwear, like uh, camisole top. I guess camisole top. If you say camisole top, but if you say just camisole, um, we would consider that to be like underwear. But if you say camisole top, we would know what you're saying. But yeah, if you just said camisole, then we would assume you were talking about underwear. I seem to have uh, drifted to brown for this guy. 
So uh, tank top for me. No, I just call singlets. Uh, tanks, vest. Oh, yeah. I mean, vest is kind of different again. Like, it's, like, slightly wider and, like, usually, like, a heavier material, I guess. But, yeah, tank, tank top. Huh. Well, we all have different ways of saying things, don't we? In the different parts of the world. Ooh, yeah. I can see him in that. Not the shoes. Let's get rid of those shoes. And actually, you know what? I don't like that because it's tucked in. I don't like it. I changed my mind. It's tucked in. I don't like it. I quite like the idea of like a leather jacket with um with like a jersey underneath. Or like this one. Yeah, I like that. It's not too ranch handy. I think it's got like a fashionable element to it. So I think I can make that work. Maybe if I pair them with the uh, the jeans, that might not be. That might be a little bit too ranch handy. But let's go jeans. Uh, I could see him like having a pair of jeans with like holes in them. Although I think he like the suit. Yeah, like a grey. And then we'll go for like a boot. If there's any decent boots. Like those. Yeah. Good on Archie. Archie Jr. Look at you. Now, I didn't do fingernails, so I'm going to quickly whip through and do those. Fingernails. Boom. Was he wearing a ring there? Oh, well. I'll let him have his ring. He can have his weird ring. It's fine. So vests go under most of the time, so it's a light material. Oh, 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 okay. So it's like an under, okay. Right, I'm with you. I see what you mean. So not like, because we call the vest like the thing that goes over top. So like um, like your puffer vest or something like that. So it'd be like a a puffy sort of jacket that goes over top. So um, yeah. So vests are like a whole other different thing for, for us here. Okay, so then we are on to, what were we going to call this? this chick um was it esther i forgot what were we going to call her i don't remember anyway someone remind me and then <laughs> i'll get underway with this should we give her glasses i think we should no one in the family has glasses and i think that could be cute i like the square glasses and should we go hard on pink she's gonna like have red hair and pink go go hard on the pink She's like a rebel. She's like, I don't care if I have red hair. I'm going hard on the pink. Uh, cute, cute, cute. So I think we probably can't get away too much with curly hair because nobody else has curly hair. Hmm. That's kind of sweet. I, I like the curly hair ones though. Oh, I like that actually on here. Yeah, I quite like that. That's nice as well. But I think, oh, actually, that is nice. That is cute. Okay, I'm going with it. Angelica. Thank you. I completely forgot what it was. Or was it, do you say Angelica or Angelica? Angelica or Angelica? Now, who is Angelica? So she is sweet. So I'm going to give her the cheerful trait. And I think that she will be like a little social butterfly. So she's sweet and cheerful. Ginger babies and a little pup. Yeah, they're all going to be gingers. It's going to be a whole big family of gingers. <laughs> and it's going to be fabulous. Okay, I can see her. So she's sweet and girly. And we're going to make her all sweet and girly. That's going to be her thing. So she's going to have like little dresses for every occasion. That's going to be our sweet little girl. Um, except for fitness, maybe she won't wear a dress for that. Oh, maybe she will. I don't think I've ever used this dress. And she's wearing a little strawberry necklace. Oh, that's so cute. We're keeping that. I like that. Um, I can see her like wearing something like this, though. I think that's kind of sweet. For everyday wear, I think that's kind of practical. But this matches her like little little strawberry necklace. She's going strawberry, full on pink, the whole nine yards with that. Uh, flats. 
maybe she could go like a red shoe to match her strawberries. Oh, that's bright red, but they're so cute. Okay, she's going pink. Okay, oh lordy me, like the kids' formal wear is absolutely appalling in this game. Maybe I'll give her like an updo for this. For formal wear, so mum's like making her wear her formal wear. So she's like, I'm a princess. Hello. Okay, so what should we wear? Something really pretty and pink. Oh, there is always this one. That's pretty. And look at all the sparkles. Okay, we'll definitely go over that one. And um, these shoes here, I think, are the best for those. Let's go with those. And maybe we can give her like a little bit of jewellery. I don't think she'd wear earrings. Uh, oh, no, she, she can have her ears pierced. Why not? She's girly. I had my ears pierced when I was five. So I think she would probably be a little bit older than that. Look, she's going to have sparkly little earrings. And we'll give her earrings on this as well. So, I mean, I think that's fairly normal for girls to, like, have um, have piercings at that age. Like, around about five, right? That's not that's not a weird thing. I don't think. Yeah, little love hearts with pink in it. Ooh, yeah. uh, now, we're going to give her... Some bracelets. No formal bracelets. What? But we would. Kids would like to dress up and wear like bracelets and stuff. Okay, she's wearing a pretty bracelet. Formal wear. I mean, uh, athletic wear. So she actually rebels and she goes bright pink. She's like, yeah. And maybe we can like put her hair up for this one in like a ponytail, like that. Ah, cute. And we'll give her, not makeup, um, we'll give her some nice pink shoes and some sockies. Maybe she'd wear like long socks. Yeah, that's it. Nightmare age, nightmare to have at that age. Mine got stuck. Yours got stuck? What did they get stuck in? Like oh, in your ears? Did they grow over? Mine actually did that as well. They grew over a little bit. Um, and then, like, when I got this, like, the second hole pierced, like, I had to get uh, it redone because it grew over as well. Because I think I got the second hole when I was, oh, early teens, I think. So, yeah. I get what you mean. Like, if, if they, like, get stuck in your ears because they grow over. Because if you don't change your earrings and stuff regularly when you're a kid, like they do, they will just, like, grow over because you're still, like, very much growing and stuff. Um, uh, I think she'd go for something like that. That's quite, no, nah, I think maybe the shorter one like this one. That I can see her. In. Now we'll take her hair down for that one. So we'll wear her hair just down. Uh, maybe, uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll take off her slippers. She doesn't need slippers. I'm anti-slipper, it seems. Like, I always take the slippers off my slippers. <laughs> I think I'm anti-slipper. Uh, which is a weird sentiment to have. Oh, yikes. Okay, this is our party wear, apparently. I don't think so. So we would definitely have our earrings for that. Uh, maybe she would like, like, like wear longer sparkly ones. Uh, I don't think so for kids. I think like little studs are good for kids. Longer sparkly might be just causing trouble because yeah, as you say, they sort of get stuck in things and like you know get like if they're running around like around trees and like could get stuck in a branch or something. I mean that's not ideal. Any situation at all. Um, maybe I can see her like in little sandals and a cute look. Like at least choose the dress first before I choose the shoes. Who chooses the shoes before they choose the dress? What is wrong with me? Um, party wear, ooh, back to that one again, because I just haven't used that. What about this one? That's kind of sweet. And actually works with the sandals. So let's do that. And then we got into swimwear. Hmm, I can see her like an all-in-one like this one. I can see her wearing one of these. 
Yes. There we go. And I can see her like wearing the glasses and doing all the accessories and doing like all the girly things. Um, they didn't do matching sunglasses for that. Okay. That's cute sunglasses though. That's cute. All right. Hot weather wear. Yes, in your ears. It was done healing. So we tried removing it and the backing was too deep, I think. And they and they used a gun oh wow okay yikes i guess that would scar you for a little while as well like you know having like earrings stuck in your actual ears not an ideal thing at all uh hot weather wear what about something like that or like that um yeah i i i know how how painful it was like to get my earrings like unstuck from my ears so i feel your pain a little bit just a little bit. The swimming outfit looks great. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought that was super cute. Um, need something for hot weather wear. Okay, go for, <laughs> go for that. I don't know. I think something maybe. Oh, that's cute. Although it's got cats on it. We're a dog household in this game, so I'm guessing we're gonna go uh, doggos. Can you actually get her out of the dress? But I mean, it's kind of like a long drapey kind of top, which I think would suit her. It's kind of girly enough. There we go. And hot weather wear. Uh, we definitely want to get some sunglasses on her for that. So we might go in the white this time. Yeah, there we go. And actually, let's get her in a hat too. Hmm, bucket hat. Yeah, cute. And last but not least, we let's get her in a nice little hat. Um, is there like a doggo version? <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I can see her in something like that. Oh dear. Now, have we got anything cute in pink? <laughs> pink and yellow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> nice and sweet. All right, that's Angelica. Now, we've got the twins, the infant twins. I can't remember what they're going to be called. Um, tell me what they're going to be called because I honestly I can't remember. So we've got the male uh, and he's got the big blue eyes. Look how big those blue eyes are. But my it changes here and Ooh. I give him like lots of long hair. There we go. So blue i think we'll give him like classic blue because he's got like pretty blue eyes and if i was like dressing the baby and he had like such good blue beautiful blue eyes like that i would be wanting to dress him in blue and in fact i did have a child like that and in fact still do have a child like that <laughs> who has beautiful blue eyes and i like to dress him in blue but you know he likes to choose his own clothes now and firmly does not want my opinion about what he should be wearing <laughs> oh quack quack that's so cute this is a sort of like a grumpy looking baby, eh? He's quite, quite grumpy looking. Oh, I don't like the yellow though. Oh, we could go that. That's super cute. And we'll get rid of the shoes. Because babies don't really need shoes. Everest and Matthew. So Everest is the girl and Matthew is the boy. Okay, so Matthew... Matthew Busy Bee, and I'm just going to randomise the trait for the infants. Oh, we got a wiggly one. Okay. Wiggly little infant. Okay, so let's do formal wear, where you've got all of one option. Yay. There we are. We're going to do a shirt and a cute little nappy. That's going to be your formal wear and no shoes, because you don't need shoes, because you don't walk. You only need socks to keep your feet warm. That's all you really need. I promise. Uh, maybe you're a cute little bear? You are a cute little bear. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, sorry. Baby talk. Can't help myself. It's a mum thing, I think. Maybe, possibly. Party wear. Uh, what about that? That's cute. Can we go even bluer? Uh, what about this in blue? Oh, yeah, we tried that before. 
Might go for limes. Right there. Okay, hot weather. Should we give them some glasses? Do we get some glasses with these guys? Yeah, we've got some little baby glasses. Hot weather wear glasses. That's cute. And do we have a hat? Oh, we do have a hat. Oh, little rainbow head. Oh, little rainbow head. There we go. That's a cute little rainbow head. Uh, and maybe like a little romper. I loved putting my sons in, uh, in little rompers when they were kids. They would hate me forever uh, now if I put them in a romper, obviously. But yeah, like the One Piece little rompers were so cute. I think Matthew's probably going to be a little grumpy. He's like, doesn't smile much, but he is a cutie. I love his like blue eyes and stuff. They're very cute. Um, uh, go blue. Oh, with little whales on it. Oh. Oh, I wonder, like, with the new stuff pack, if we'll get, like, any baby stuff, any new baby stuff. That would be amazing if we do. I would love that. Um, I might put socks on him for winter. Our one, one, uh, design of socks. There we are. And maybe, like, a little winter hat. What have we got for winter hats? Ooh, we got some cute little options. Plain, or should we go for like an animal? <laughs> we should definitely go for an animal. It sits so badly on the heads. <laughs> oh well. All right, so we've got Matthew Busy B. He is all sorted. So now moving on to Everest Busy B, who is our last little female uh, infant. Everest Busy B. And she is going to be also a wiggly worm. I guess they are twins, so that's going to happen. Now I'm going to give her like a different little hairstyle because she's the girly girl. So she's going to have a bow. Ah, oh, and she's going to be, well, her sister's all in pink. So I reckon we should maybe go a different color for her. I don't want to go blue. Otherwise, I'm going to confuse the heck out of them. Um, so maybe we could, we've gone green for the nanny. Maybe we could go purple. Ooh, purple. Okay, let's go purple. I don't know how much purple stuff we'll get, but we'll try. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, isn't she cute? That's a nice little everyday outfit. I mean, basically the infants, you only ever see them in their, in their um, sleepwear anyway, <laughs> when it comes down to it. But anyway, they're still cute. Okay, purple. Oh, yes, that's sweet. No, I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be determined to just take all these shoes off everything. I know the shoes are cute, but I'm gonna take the shoes off anyway. Um sleepwear. Hmm. Like that with the little flowers is really nice. What else have we got that might be purple? You still got confused with your twins you made for this challenge. Oh, you still get confused with them. Yes, I know. I've had that like with the hundred baby challenge uh and stuff. Like I get confused with the twins there as well, like which one's which. Like my, my teen, oh yes, that would be cute. My teen twins, like, because I, uh, I did a makeover and then I didn't realize like one of the outfits, I both made them black and I get so confused about which one's which. I was like, I don't know. Um, what should we go? So we're party wear. Okay. So we're off to a party. So what should we wear here? Oh, well, that's a cat. We can't wear that. We've got to wear doggy stuff because we're a dog household today. Okay, we'll wear that. We'll diverge from our purple attack. Wear a little doggy wear. And yes, I love this outfit. I think it's so cute. I love it. It's pretty. And then last but not least, we're going to go... Here we are. Full cold weather wear. And just like that, guys, we are finished with our cast and our family. So uh, I think I might just save. Oh, I can't save. I've got to go cook them in the house. That's the smarty pants. Oh, no, we don't want them called the smarty pants. These are going to be the busy bees. The busy bees. So we've got dad, we've got mum, and we've got all the kids, and as well as the nanny. I think they're good. They've got like they're all all got their own little personalities and stuff. So now we're just gonna move them into a house and I'm gonna wrap it up there because that took me almost two hours. Since the uh mic issues that I had earlier. 
Thank you very much, computer. But yeah. Ah! Oh, we've done well. It's been fun actually doing a bit of cast. I just don't do that often enough. Now, spring, we don't have a... Oh, well, we'll just start in spring then. No set time to start. Uh, where shall we live? Hmm. Free real estate on. Um. Brindledon Bay, because we have a doggo. So, which house should we live in? Well, I should probably download something actually first is what I should do from my library. I wonder if I have anything lots. Um, size, maybe we can go like a 40 by 30. And, huh, hmm. I don't know what to choose. I should have thought about this before. I don't know what I've got that has like eight bedrooms. That's a four bedroom. I don't often build like eight bedrooms. So like the mansion Baronheim, the big one. What have we got that 64, 64? Modern horse ranch, cottage living farm, like green gardens. I didn't make that. Uh, 64s by 64 dogs. Oh, they can share. Yeah, they can share. That's true. They can definitely share. I don't want to go like giant. And I don't remember building some of these. Some of these maybe for some. Of, I have them for some other reason. I don't want to do like the Mansion Baron house because one of the um, aspirations is Mansion Baron. So uh, I'm just going to switch off the light, lot restriction. Actually, I want to do. Um, what did I build recently that's quite nice? This one. Okay, unavailable when moving. <laughs> I'm going to put them on the lot first. Ah, oh, what size was that? 30 by 20. Let's go in. Okay. I'm bollocksing this up. Yes, they can definitely share. And we can put them in this lovely house that I've just built that you guys haven't seen yet. Because I haven't put that out on my channel yet. You get a preview, sneak preview at my new house that I've just built. And it has three bedrooms. I guess I like at some stage, I, if I need like a bigger house, I can like build them in like a better house, maybe um, off camera or something like that. And I can make them like more like... Um, some, spe some family specific, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Is it going to let me place? Ugh, oh, sufficient funds. Will you let me place it or will you not let me place it? No. Okay, I'm going to have to give them temporary funds. How much is this worth? 108,000. Yikes. Uh, so 134, 108, uh, maths 153, there we go, 153,000, you can have the feeling great, modern home, there you go, there we are, family, you've got a three bedroom house to share it all in, I think it's only got like two double bedrooms and like a, a teens room, but whatever, we'll change this later, if we need to. I mean, it's all part of the fun challenge, isn't it? So that's our lovely new home. Look at that. Isn't it stunning? Isn't it lovely? Okay, guys. Well, we have moved into our house. And uh, it's actually a pink and grey house on the interior. <laughs> so it's really going to suit like our teenage girl, whose name is An Angelica. And uh, yeah. It's got like a double bedroom. So maybe I can change like change some of the bedrooms around and stuff like that. And um, we can turn 
I mean, this is going to be in, like, Angelica's room, and I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. I, I probably need to have, like, a infant room as well. I really did not think this through at all, did I? Have I been to Black Spy yet? No, I haven't. I'll take a vacation later. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to wrap that up there. So that was the first episode of the Nanny Challenge. We have created our family, and we have moved into our lovely house, which the chances are before the next thing, I will probably just build them a proper house. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have fun uh, creating the family and our nanny who ha already has one of the infants in hand so good on her well done leah the nanny okay guys thank you so much for watching i'll catch you next time Bye bye